welcome to Familess. In this discussion, we have two very accomplished ladies in their fields of endeavor. Our first guest, Isabella Nana Icha Asante. Isabella's tenacity and strength showed through her passion to help breast cancer patients go through the recovery process by giving them the necessary support to do so through her foundation, Embrace Society. The mark of an influential leader is the ability to help others through a path you have already traversed. She's the board chair of the Nurses and Midwifery Council, the CEO of Isabella Healthcare, and has 25 years experience in nursing and health management. Our second guest, Mrs. Dinah Hobson. With laurels under her belt, such as the National Honours Award presented to her by former President John Ajikum Kufo, Mrs. Hobson has been a driving force in the Ghanaian music industry. She is a former president of Musica, former board member of the Ghana Music Rights Association, second vice chair of GAMRO, among other notable positions. She is currently the CEO of GH Music Publishing and Management. With over 20 years experience in the corporate world, our host, Leticia Hinefa, is currently the co-founder of Leader Freak International. In the last five years, her organization has empowered over 20,000 young people in over 40 schools in three regions, Kenya and Uganda, to live purposefully. She hosts and participates in a family program dubbed Fam Life on City 97.3 FM every week to uplift consciousness. A student of organizational development and transformational therapy, her experiences span different roles, industries, and countries. Leticia emboldens you to live your best life and translate your dreams to reality. It's such a pleasure to be here. I'm here with two of my greatest friends, for which I'm privileged. And today we're going to talk about anything female, our evolution, <laughs> the men that we date, we're oh. married to, not married to, <laughs> children, basically everything. So it's a free fall and we're hoping that you will learn. So basically we're sharing our journey with you uh -huh. and we want you to learn from our journey. We want you to experience life on your own terms as we have begun to learn what it all means. So that's why we're here today. So I'm here with Isabella Asante and Diana Hobson. My name is Leticia Ohinefa, and I'm the co-founder of Leader Freak International. We'll start this conversation. They'll tell you a little bit about themselves, how we ended up where we are, and then we'll take the conversation from there as we go along. Enjoy it, leave a message, um, do subscribe, share with as many people as possible and then give give us comments tell us what you want to hear again um what else you want us to talk about and we will be happy to do so for you so you're welcome thank, thank you. you thank you so much thank you ever so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. uh, i we've created a reason to just meet mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for so which we will continue. do more of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have these amazing conversations mm -hmm. So, Bella, we were talking yesterday, we'll start with you, and we're just going from nowhere to everywhere. But I remember in our conversation yesterday briefly, you were talking about going on a project of mentoring women. And I, I kind of want to start from there to use it as an introduction of what drives you and um, wh how that came about. Wow, Sophie, okay. I want to start off by saying so Isabella <laughs> is just one of my names. That's um, right. Um, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. A chance to come. That's A right. Chance. <laughs> and, I, and I embrace my names mm. because they all are meaningful. Mm. I'm a firm believer in naming mm. your child the right name. Now, I haven't figured out if the person becomes the name mm. or they were destined to be that I, I haven't figured it out mm. well i understand um, from somebody that i drive like the person i was named after mm. so it has it has a, a lot of implications yeah implications yeah um, mm. it does um nana nah, because that's what most people in ghana know me by mm. Mm. um isabella is the name that i've grown up with it's on my birth certificate okay. and people in abroad you know everyone knows me as Isabella and so when I came back to Ghana I want to kind of get rid of the Ubuni name 
can do na na. Especially when I found out a charm, mm. what it means. And a charm, a charm become four. Mm. Oh, a charm okay. is a leader. A charm will hear quite. So okay. my son is renamed my son Oyi Kwai. Mm. So I embraced it. Oh, my name is a charm. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. And then I realized that something. I was looking for a name for my business, and somebody suggested Isabella. So I went to look up Isabella and I found out that Isabella means bow to God or promise mm, to God. Yes. Mm. So that in itself, Christ, so it's powerful. Yeah. So now I embrace all my names. Which is important. So to go back to your question, I think that my journey, the journey of most of the women that I know, my sisters, women who have become my sisters, mm. women that I'm looking up to, um, women who motivate me, women who um, inspire me, all have stories to tell. Yeah. We all have gotten to the place. We're not where we want to be because we're still hustling. <laughs> <laughs> but we all have gotten to a place and the consistent message that you get is I wish I, I wish I'd known. Mm. When I sit back and I look at the person that I am today, I'm like, auntie, when I was dry, stressing <laughs> over this in the past, you know, you know, I didn't know that it was just the faith. Like mm. you're going through it. It's a process. It's life. At some point, when you thought, "Oh my God, I'm it's gonna be like this forever," you're gonna get through it. So I think that it's important for us who have gotten through it. Oh yeah, another thing that we always get. I wish my mom had told me this. Mm. <laughs> you know, I wish they had told us this. I wish they had told us back in the day. Their their time wasn't the time that we're in now. We're Absolutely. the Oprah generation we, we share that's why we're here you know so i think that in in mentoring and sharing it's not to tell like you said somebody how to live their mm. lives but it's just to help make theirs as little smoother it's almost as though a um me coming here mm. you gave me directions i could have gone my own way but the I followed the ways, yeah. the, the Google directions that you sent me. And it got me here easier. Sure. Because if I had followed the, oh, let me try and figure it out myself. Or see a dentist. So maybe they said there's some <laughs> nice, good, nice, watch it, please be. Let me stop you at the kiosk. And it would, I would pro- eventually yeah. have made it. But it would have been longer. It would have been more frustrating. Because I'll get there and the watch is not there today. <laughs> then I'm beating myself up. But I followed... The, the directions mm. that you gave me. I got lost a little bit, but I stopped. I regrouped. Yeah. And then I started again. So I think in hoping that we can start mentorship, you know, just grabbing a woman, a young girl, and saying that, listen, this journey is the same. We just take different paths. So have in the back of your mind that Auntie Nana went through this. Until the teacher went, she did this. Should I try this? It just makes it easier. And sometimes it's just a matter of knowing, saying, you're not alone. Yeah. And you won't cry. You be be see that you're not that special. We've all gone through Yeah. Until when we did, no, don't think. We really, you know, because we get a lot of young girls looking up to us. Something made me who I am today. Absolutely. Oh, until don't think you, you you're not in it alone and for me the mentorship is just to let them know that you're not in this alone and what i wish somebody had shared with me that i think would have made my little life a little easier <laughs> just help you know yeah. just share it with them and let them make their own choices mm. as informed mm. as possible mm, yeah. Sure. yeah i like that very much mm. and there's something you said i want auntie diana to pick up on which is the fact that if somebody had told you mm. something, then you would have. Mm. You have been mm. very, I want to use the word relevant. Mm. Yeah, you've been relevant mm. for over three decades mm. in the music industry. Mm. You've gone through, and I like it, you've gone through the processes. Mm. I think for those of you who don't know, <laughs> for those who don't know, you'd be good for them to hear from you yourself, mm. what your journey has been like, mm. and then um, how, how have you even stayed relevant? Okay. It's a, I think it's very important. All right, so I started off as Kaneshi, North Kaneshi, and um, it was Diana Boche. Mm. And with time, it turned how into... How is it that I've never known you as Boche? Okay. <laughs> well, you know because yeah. of the narration. And um, 
apparently next month mm. that's March will be 30 years when my second name Diana Akumi Diana Akumi became very popular Wow. That was 1993, the Wiener album. Uh, wow. And that was what brought me to the limelight and uh, everywhere that not kill me, you know. <laughs> and then uh, another transition, mm -hmm. I became Diana Hobson. Mm. But, you know, before all this, I was growing up, women like Mrs. Anna Ainin, mm. Joyce Ayi, mm. Nana Kunedu, Ajima Rollins. I mean, these were women that politically... You, you, you see that they are out there, just a few of them I'm, I've mentioned. Then my teachers from primary school, I attended cable and wireless a while, Bubuashi. Mm. And there were, in that school. school, there were a lot of women okay. who were teachers. But then I transitioned to eating preparatory school around the dance bar. Okay. So the school is no more, fortunately. Cool. And in that school, there were a lot of men. Who you know, teachers. they brought a lot of national service young men mm. at a point. Mm. And these guys really did something. Like, they were forthcoming. Fortunately, there was one who loved music in, Mr. Sari. If you watch this thing, I, it's a tribute <laughs> to me. You are a man, though, but he loved music. Mm. And so I was the leader of the cheer for this football team, uh, oh, football team. cheerleaders, cheerleaders yeah. you know. So that that's how the whole thing sort I actually of. Actually, didn't realize we had cheerleaders in those days. Hey, Jama, oh, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I didn't think about <laughs> no, it like that because we don't have the pom poms. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, so like, like it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Then to Kaneshi I'm Presby, happy. Child Evangelical Society. So I was in Kaneshi Presby just before I went to secondary school, and there it's like when you go go to SU. So then in secondary, Winneba Secondary School, I attended one to Appa <laughs> in Winneba Secondary School. And that was like the training ground. Mm. And for me, I, the time I recognized that now this world is like a big stage. We enter by birth, we exit by death. And God himself is the director of the, 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 the whole scene. Mm. Um, at a point in time, if you are able to know who you are and admit that kind of strength you have, whatever, however small it is, to know that this is God, what God has given me, and make use of it in any way, in every way. That's where it starts from. So, how do I even say it? It could even be just cleaning shoes mm. but the manner and way in which you would do it will endear you and that is where it starts yeah. from and then as the years go by you transition other things come in and go out and you keep trans you keep growing you keep mm. adding and subtracting i mean nothing goes out completely mm. it, it doesn't change you from who you are i still love to sing i'm still <laughs> recording i mean you go online you can still find new stuff you know Last year, Mother's Day, I did a new song mm. for women, mm. you know, yeah. Oh, and um, I think we can recruit you for our program, Mother's Day. Yay! <laughs> we have a program coming Wonderful. up. We'll talk about it yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, um, mm. you're talking about what we should have known, right? Mm. So, I, it's, it's important to know that life is, we are not like rubber stamp, static, something made like that. No, see how the butterfly started, you know. And so know that your life is like that. You, sh you will be a lover at a point. At another point, you'll be in that cocoon, you know. And at another point, you are that beautiful butterfly flying. Yeah. And, and so when you know that this is how the processes are, the most important thing for me is to have that link with your maker. Because we are spirit, soul, and body, you know. And so when you are in tune with the one who made you, and you can connect with him to. To, to every day, you know, and know, oh, I have today. What, what is, what am I supposed to do today? Mm. How am I to go about things? Okay, these are the, these are the things I have to do. Mm. Know the priorities, know the, you know, and then space it up. And as the days go by, you know, you grow in everything, and changes come in, and so we need to be flexible, and move with the tide, in his timing, because you don't know how long you would. Um, of course, when you have children, 
start having children uh, unless you know you are done you don't know how long <laughs> you stay in that motherhood frame. yeah and that is not the rest of life but unfortunately people get to the motherhood stage when the children are three six seven and that hustle and it's like is this what life is all going to be and if you uh, think you are going to stay there forever you may make wrong decisions yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. but then after some years you are off that range and then you can do other things and then you don't stay there after three four years in those things something else will be beckoning you so i started off with me recording mm. uh even recording or just singing in the church <laughs> just love to sing in the church if there's any gathering i just love to sing and and look at people enjoyed it then he went into recording mm. yay hits came on then performing then speaking then mm, performing arts a bit i went to the school of performing arts then it went into much more evangelism, mm. training the youth, going to the villages mm. with the drama. When they, the, the villagers see the spectacle, the, the stage and everything, they just gather. Mm. That went on for a while. Then it, it changed. Um, musical president, you know, policy making for the performing arts. I, because of the performing arts, I looked at the whole creative industry. Mm. I didn't just look at music. Mm -hmm. And then it transcended center for peace and reconciliation <laughs> so i went to counseling i went yeah. back to school to do counseling you know <laughs> and to i mean get to the masters because I've, I've, i mean it's a specialized area you can't just say you are wise or you have yeah. experience you're dealing with so this so yeah. that is yeah. advice given you need mm -hmm. to learn so i went into counseling too and then i realized that the industry is lacking the aspect of publishing and so I started a company oh. and we are on. I'm excited about it because now with the technological aspect, with everything going online, it's important that we, we do our work well. I love this. Yeah, I love oh. this.